How's it going, fam? It is July 13th, uh, 2011, and uh, I'm on my drive home here. Um, the reason I'm blogging for a second time today was because on my way home, uh, I saw something that just caught my eye and caught my heart and my mind and made me really, really start to think about two things. Um, if you recall, or if, if you weren't aware, uh, there was a major storm um, a few days ago. And a lot of Lake County, Illinois, has just been without power. Uh, a lot of people have been suffering through this crazy heat and uh, have been, you know, uh, staying over at friends' houses. And uh, I saw, like, crazy lines at uh, a few gas stations that had power because, uh, you know, people needed to fill up and they didn't know how long the power was going to be out. Um, so what caught my eye right now I was driving home, I actually saw a sign, you know, one of those light-up billboards, like those LED billboards, and it said, we have power, and it was pretty cool, it had like a glowing light, light bulb, and then in green letters, it would say, we have power, and it was kind of flashing, and uh, it was for this uh, restaurant around here called Austin's, restaurant slash bar, however you want to look at it, but anyways, I thought that was interesting, and uh, pretty smart, because I, I noticed down one of the major roads near my house um, that a lot of the restaurants were, were uh, closed down, you know, because they had no power. So, like, uh, you know, like Panera was down. I think, uh, um, um, what's that restaurant? Panda Express or something like that. They were down. So there was a lot of people going to Chili's and McDonald's because those places did have power. So this was their way to attract people there nowadays. And the first thought that came to my mind was, wow, what are the state of things in Lake County where a big selling point or an advertisement is power? You know, just simple electricity, which honestly is not that simple because most of the world does not even have the benefit of electricity. So that made me count some blessings there. But then it got me thinking, is that not the claim that Christian churches should be making we have power we've got power you know we are the ones who are supposed to be wielding the power of the almighty god who who are the vessels for that power and then i went back to thinking about austin like that claim that they make on the billboard we have power that really brings people in but what if driving by you see the billboard that's got the lights flashing but then you look through the window, and it's pitch black inside. Does it, does it then make you question the validity of that? And I think a lot of times that that's the, the sense that um, many Christian churches are giving to the world. Is they know our claim. Most of the world knows our claim, that we have the power of God. We have the power of Christ and His Holy Spirit inside of us. But then they look inside, and they don't see any lights on. And I'm talking definitely metaphorically here. Um, but how how do we how do we repair that? I mean, yes, that's something that leadership of each church individually needs to address. But I think on a on a more basic level, each Christian needs to address that with themselves. Do you yourself? Since you are a, a representation of Christ, since you are a part of the body of Christ, and without you there is no church, because you are the church, do you have that power? If someone looked in you, would they see the light, or would they see darkness? How do we repair that? Turn on the lights. Now, in, in a church situation like this, it might not be as easy to just turn on the lights for the whole building. That's something that every leader would want to do. But what we as, as uh, people in the church and also Christian leaders need to do is to, to compel, to instruct, to motivate uh, individual Christians to turn on their light. Uh, there's that, that, that old proverb, uh, I think it's like a, a Chinese proverb that says, um, better to light a candle than to curse the darkness. And our world is in darkness. And too often when people look into our church, they see darkness. And instead of cursing and condemning that right now, I'm suggesting that you, 
as a Christian, light a candle. You start to dispel the darkness with that light. That one little bright light of candle, one little candle, can be seen for hundreds of yards in the darkness. So you today, right now, decide that, yes, you're going to display your sign, we have power, and you're going to make sure that you do something about lighting up the darkness. Light that candle. You bring that that light with you. Bring the light of God wherever you go. Um, I just want to encourage you guys with that today. Um, and I uh, hope your day is uh, turning out to be a good one. And I hope many of you people watching this right now in Lake County are not watching it from a friend's house because you don't have power. Uh, and if you do, um, I'm praying for you guys. And I hope that uh, lights come on soon. God bless. Be blessed. And be a blessing. Later.